welcome back. So today what you're going to need is some kind of black pen or micron pen. Um, you're going to need a light box or the trace table app if you've got some kind of tablet. Now I've pre-prepared bits for this which is um, pieces of um, plain string that I um, used watercolour to pre-paint and let dry um, prior to using them. Now I just cut them into different lengths, laid them out um, and painted them with three different colours of watercolour. So we're going to be doing an image of a horse today. Now the hair is going to be created by the string. So what we're going to first need to do is trace the um, horse's head into the Bible. Uh, so while I'm doing that, the verse that we're covering today is Hebrews 12, 1 to 2. Therefore, since we also have such a large crowd of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside our hindrances and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us. Keep our eyes on Jesus, the source and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising the shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So um, in order to create this image, what we're going to do is um, outline the horse's head in pen and the ear, as you can see at the top. But all of the hair lines that you can see, I'm just going to go over in pencil to give a little bit of a guide in terms of where the string is going to be placed. Now, the idea is as much as possible, you're going to cover those pencil lines with um, the different coloured string. So what we're going to do is we're going to need some kind of glue for this. Now, a print stick won't do, so you're going to need um, an, an actual um, glue basis rather than uh, a prick stick. And we're going to lay some of that glue out onto the page. Now, I found that that wasn't the best way of doing this. The best way was putting a little bit of glue on one side of the string um, and then we're simply going to be curling and curving um, the string into different directions to give it the effect of um, the hair blowing in the wind. Now if you um, tip a little bit of um, glue out onto a page and hold both sides of that glue um, and try and um, place um, one side of it very lightly into the glue. It'll give you a basis in which to stick. Now I've got um, a wooden stick that you can see that I use. Now that's really helpful for just adding a little bit of glue to the tip or the end. Um, if there seems to have not been very much that has been caught. Now, this is a really simple Bible page because it's literally um, creating the hair in whichever way um, you want it to look. So once you've pre-prepared this page, it's a really simple page. It does take quite some time to then uh, do this section. I think this bit took me about 40 minutes um, to do from start to finish. Now, um, I jumped around going from um, top to bottom um, and then into the middle again. I'd recommend not doing what I'm doing here and going for the bottom. So if you start at the top and go all the way th through to the bottom, it means you don't have middle pieces that um, then need to be filled in. But that wasn't too much of an issue. So um, just have fun and just create. So I think the reason why I picked Hebrews verses 1 to 2, because it was just that running with endurance, I guess. We've talked about this 
before, but sometimes life can be quite tricky. And I think, um, I think sometimes people have a misconception that a life of faith and a life with knowing God um, is easier. Uh, and I would sort of challenge that and say, I don't think it's necessarily been that way for me or been um, my experience. I think it's helped by having a relationship with God, but actually um, life is a battle and 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 God says that, that life is going to be challenging and it's going to, to be hard. He doesn't promise life will be easy. But it's how do we keep going through adversity, through our situations and focusing on him. So it was this verse that I loved. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us. It can be so hard, ladies, when you feel like life is a, a continued stream of challenges and battles in, in which we have to face. And I think it's just remembering that that you do have the strength of a powerful and an incredible God and Father. And actually it's knowing that we're doing that together that helps me. It is tough and, and, and it may be hard, but actually doing it together and doing it with somebody um, makes a huge, huge amount of difference for me. So what you can see, I'm just putting glue on the end pieces of the string. Now this was because I wanted to avoid the string fraying um, once the page was complete and in our Bibles. Don't worry about the string that's gone over the page because you're simply going to cut that off. Um, Kerry's now going to call us into prayer. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Lord, I thank you that you were prepared to go to the cross in our stead. I thank you that you love us for who we are. And you love us too much to let us stay as we are. That our goal is like reaching for the stars. It is a journey that you take us on. You are the perfecter of our faith. And Lord, I pray for the perseverance that is required in our daily struggles. And Lord, I am reminded of the fact that because of the joy of the resurrection, you endured the cross, scorning its shame so that you could sit at the right hand of the Father. And Lord, I pray this day that we would set down our shame because you have paid the price. You have paid for our shame. You have paid for our guilt. And Lord, allow us to use the courage to let go of our past so that what we might be new creations in Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy Friday, everyone. Have a great day.